Hello, I'm the Z. Today I present you a video about the custom bubbles for the PS Vita, like these PSP Filer bubbles. I will show you how you can do this yourself, and I will use Go Sudoku as an example. As you can see, Go Sudoku is 230 MB, so it's, it's actually a pretty small game. And I will show you that if I launch Go Sudoku, the PS Vita is launching Go Sudoku and not another game. The trick is pretty easy. At first, you have to. Well, I will show you. I'm going to use English. As you can see, the game is Go Sudoku. Go Sudoku. And the bubble is also Go Sudoku. So, the pretty, it's just the game itself. At first, I will transfer a file via the computer. And I'm going to use... QCMA or OCMA on my computer to transfer the file. Um, it's not important what kind of CMA you are using, you just have to use one kind of CMA. And I have to start my CMA on my computer. Let's see, okay. Transferring files, copy content. Okay, the trick is pretty simple and it's very nice. At first, P PC, the system then PlayStation 1 save data. I will use this save data to transfer an important file. You can see it's nearly 200 MB in size. And copy and override. This will take a few seconds. Then the 200 MB file is on my PS Vita. The trick is very easy to do. You can do it yourself. You just have to know how to use the comment tool on your computer, the cmd.exe or what the equivalent on Linux or Mac is, I don't know, I'm using Windows. <clears throat> As you can see, the safe data is now on the computer and the PS Vita, but that's not important. Next we have to use PSP Filer or anything that you can use to copy a file and rename a file. I'm using PSP Filer. If you have access to a VHBL or TNV, you can do you can use this too. As you see, at first I will go into the PSP folder, then in save data. As you can see, now we have this 200 MB eboot.pvp file. And it's also called Go Sudoku. The trick hereby is it's actually very easy. As you can see, UCES00152 is also Go Sudoku. The size is different. This is 200 etc. MB and this is only 190. The trick is this eboot.pvp is actually warms.iso. So this is an ISO faked as eboot.pvp. At first I'm going to rename this folder which is called uses00152 and we'll rename it into uses00152 and I will just use the and symbol or icon or whatever at the end. Next I'm going to create a folder inside of the game folder. So we have two folders in here or three which is also uses00152. As you can see it's the original name of the folder. The real game is in the folder with the and symbol and the other folder is currently empty. But that's not a problem. I will copy this eboot.pvp file into the folder without the end. And if we did this then we are nearly done. If you ask yourself how to create this eboot.pvp file I will link a video in the description of my video which will link to the channel of a very good friend of mine. This friend is Kanade Engel 
or Kanadi Tenchi or whatever. Depends if you use the German or part German, part Japanese name, whatever. Um, and he will show you how you can use a PlayStation Network game of yours and an ISO game, so it can be downloaded, which is illegal, so I don't recommend it. But it could also be a backup of your game, which is legal. But whatever, it's you doing the work, so I don't have to judge you. And you have to use the fake NP tool to fake sign the ISO as eboot.pvp. The trick is simple. You have an ISO. In my example, it's worms.iso. Then you use the fake NP tool and sign the ISO with the same base as your PlayStation Network game. In my case, it's Go Sudoku. Go Sudoku is 230 MB. Worms is smaller than this game. That's why I can sign it. You have to use a bigger PSN game to sign a smaller ISO. If you do this, then you can use the fake signed ISO and disguise it as an eboot.pp, which I did. You see, this is the original, the document in the eboot, and this is a fake one, the eboot.pvp. So you can see nothing has changed because we have to do one last thing. The one last thing is we have to go into the recovery menu of the PS Vita, which you can get by holding PlayStation button, R button and power button, which is pretty hard to do with one hand. So you get this screen. That this screen. If you have this screen, you go to rebuild database and rebuild it. This will reboot the PS Vita and it will restore your icon layout. As you can see, it's rebuilding the database. After you did this, the new, well, the fake icon should appear if you used a fake icon in your eboot.pvp. I'm not sure if I did this, if I did not do this. It will stay still say Go Sudoku, but if I launch the game, it will launch Worms instead of Go Sudoku. Let's see. Okay, it still says Go Sudoku. And it still says it's 230 MB. But the time says 1727. So it just happened after we transferred the file. If we now launch Go Sudoku, it sh should load our fake signed ISO game, which is Worms instead of Go Sudoku. And you will see it is working. It's a very simple trick which exploits the PSP emulator with a logic flaw. As you can see, this is Worms, this is not Go Sudoku. And the only thing I did, I created a new folder, added the fake signed game and rebuilt the database. This will really, 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 really definitely be patched in the next firmware. So if you're on 335, do this if you can. I know you need a VHBL to rename and replace the file and we're working on something so you can do this on 330 or 335 if we're currently running one of these two very new farmers. If you are on a lower farmer like 3.18 TNV or 3.01 or whatever, if you create a bubble and then upgrade your farmer, the bubble will still work up to 3.35. So if you are on a low firmware, update to 3.35 and have created a bubble before you update it, then you can use this. Or you have to wait until we publish a VHBL for 3.335. So you can see it's Ghosted Oku, but if I launch it, it's Worms. Now I will go into the settings application and show you that I'm actually running 3.35.
There we go. This is the whole trick. How to create an eboot.pvp is linked in the description. So my friend will show you how to do this. And I will show you how to, how to place the file, what to do to get the new game running. I'm the dad and see you soon.